He is a native of Alabama. He started Nomadic Technologies as a way of redefining how advertisers engage potential customers through a platform that directly measures and messages their target audiences out of home, whether it's on the go, in real time. His name is Brandon Terrell. Let's give it up for him and Nomadic Technologies. Test, 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 test. Thank you for that introduction. Uh, you actually took the first part of my presentation, so. Oh. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, we'll hit it again. Well, good evening, everyone. Again, my name is Brandon Terrell, and Nomadic Technologies is redefining the way advertisers engage their potential customers and we're building a platform for organizations to directly measure and message their target audiences in real time, both out of home and on the go. Our product is a turnkey solution to a major problem, which is the lack of intelligent return on investment metrics for out of home advertising. You know, it's often forgotten that Google became the giant it is today, largely due to the fact that they created an online advertising system that went far beyond the number of impressions directly to a pay-per-click and cost-per-transaction model. It was at that time when online advertising suddenly started to make sense and then became truly accountable. Nomadic technology was founded on the principle of bringing that same online type accountability to the world of out-of-home advertising where we're connecting over 2,100 advertising companies to a $70 billion mobile advertising market. Let me introduce you to some of our early adopters. Me, EJ, who's with us in the back, and Vladimir. They are the owners of Jaunt Charlotte and also graduates of UNCC. Jaunt is a mobile advertising company that provides free rides within a one to three mile service area of Uptown and soon to be Ballantyne in their eco-friendly, energy efficient carts. Jaunt generates revenue by wrapping their carts with advertisements and by distributing promotional material to passengers. After much deliberation with the Jaunt team and joining in on a few sales meetings, we've determined that advertisers truly care about the number of potential customers they actually reach. In addition, how effective are these ads at reaching potential customers? And more importantly, what differentiates one advertising method from another? Here's where we make the distinction. Enter Nomadic Technologies, an Internet of Things advancement where we equip advertising companies like Jaunt with technology to show detailed analytics about their advertisements performance and consumer behavior, allowing them to understand and communicate with consumers never before. Advertisers now have the ability to capture data from physical spaces, metrics like dwell time, demographics, peak times, all by having that integrated into a dually uh, innovative design, a dashboard where they can track and watch how their money is working for them. And I need you all to follow. So let me show you the process. The viable magic behind our product is beacon technology powered by Bluetooth low energy. The viable magic behind our product consists of a protocol with the minimal feature set of a consumer possessing a Bluetooth compatible device such as a smartphone or tablet, in the vicinity of an advertisement platform equipped with our beacon, triggers the beacon to listen for a device. When a device hears a beacon, this creates what's called a handshake, which is necessary in order to establish a connection. Once connected, the beacon communicates relevant data to a server located in the cloud, which triggers the advertiser to automate or manage content, such as photos, discount codes, streaming video, and other data files directly to a consumer smart device. We figured out how to make the data access very easy and seamless to manage. A big part of where we are with this process is giving advertisers the opportunity to understand where they can communicate and understand their customer base. We're creating an online revenue stream similar to Google with their pay-per-click, cost-per-interaction model where we figured out a way to make that data access very seamless and easy. 
Now, when we talk about revenue, the way we make money is by charging advertisers an administrative cost, and on addition, we uh, commission that content from that data that's captured. And why are advertisers willing to pay? We're giving that access to that data collaboration process that is very seamless and additionally easy to manage. We validated this assumption by creating a landing page that has grown by 10% each week since April 1st. We're closing in on some additional early adopters that are very eager to get this product to market. I've also validated this product with the two most important individuals to me, which are my mother and my girlfriend, who think this is the best idea ever. <laughs> we have a PR strategy to grow traction for our business, and in addition to, to, product, uh, to scale the product, and it's all because of my phenomenal team with backgrounds in advertising, marketing, computer science, engineering, and business-to-business -business sales. We're moving advertising away from the days of aimlessly throwing money into ads with limited reach and moving forward into advertisers having the ability to directly segment and individually target their audiences all from the convenience of their tablet. We are turbocharging a consumer engagement process that has been clunky for centuries, and we're making out-of-home advertising simple. Thank you. And so, like I said, speaking of technology, I'm, we're seeing a lot of you know, larger companies that are well-funded using this. What distinguishes you from some of the others out there, and why do you think you can succeed over these well-funded companies? Great question. Uh, yes, speaking technology is not a new phenomenon, yet it is in its infancy. Uh, based off the research that my team and I have done, uh, some of the incumbents in the Beacon space uh, are having a hard time uh, being able to survive and conduct business because they're limited to where they can't really drop their prices low enough, and that gives us a huge startup opportunity. So, uh, for example, if you look at an Uber, for instance, the reason why they have become so profitable is for the fact that taxi cab companies could not drop their prices low enough uh, to be able to sustain their revenue model, which is where I think we've got a huge advantage, in addition to the fact that um, you know, I missed it and hope that I conveyed it at some point in the presentation, but with this beacon, we're looking to be mobile, uh, which means that we'll be able to capture data uh, in open spaces, whereas a lot of beacons right now are just limited to retail spaces. Uh, I know one of the startups that pitched last week uh, with RevTech Labs is focusing on airports, which, you know, is a very viable market, but still limited in nature. We want to be able to take this software out of home uh, which is why I think we've got a huge opportunity. Hi there, nice, really nice pitch. How are you going to acquire new customers? I'm sorry? How are you going to acquire new customers? Thank you. Uh, well, we've got a great uh, PR team that is helping us to be able to reach out-of-home advertisers. And with the partnership we have with Jaunt, uh, we hope to collect data here within the next uh, two to three months where we'll have enough to be able to sell it to third-party data aggregators. Uh, marketing is my background. Uh, that's what I've got a degree in. That's what I've done for the past four to five years. So I'm very passionate about that piece, and I really think that's going to be the least of our words from my company's perspective because I'm fully engaged into taking whatever extremes or measures that are, that are needed to help grow and develop the business. Um, I really think we're going to grow a proposition where we're going to be able to attract data and be able to generate revenue for these companies. Well, we're going to be that company where everyone needs to go in order to help get their return on investment. What motivated you to pursue this particular business opportunity? Why are you in this space? <laughs> Good question. Uh, I think we need a, a lot more time for me to address that. Uh, but I was working for a company uh, about a year or so ago, separated, uh, working in a marketing capacity. And you know, throughout that past, or those six months where I was unemployed, just really looking to figure out what it was I could do to use my marketing talent uh, and try to figure out you know, what it was that essentially caused me to be separated, which was my company 
putting a lot of money in the out-of-home advertisement, and we just weren't simply able to get that return. So subsequently, we had a separate well workforce reduction. Um, I got accepted in the city startup labs in January. Um, I felt like what I was doing, you know, managing assets, wasn't appealing enough to you guys and investors to want to put money into, and there was really no opportunity to scale. Um, and honestly, I was in Atlanta over the New Year's break and was looking at a different, uh, well, looking at a lot of different billboards and thinking, you know, what is it that I could do to help bring all of this traffic to one place? And I started out with like a mobile app where I wanted to be able to track every billboard in America, which, you know, really was, you know, impossible. Uh, after talking to Mr. Rock and going through the program, we scaled back and tried to find something viable, which I discovered the beacon technology, which really gave us a platform to be able to track data uh, and give our customer that information that you know we felt like they missed. Uh, from working with EJ and the joint team and even my coach, Rufus Simmons, uh, I really needed to put him up on that slide because he's been a huge help for me over these past few weeks. Um, he's helped me from the data aspect to be able to figure out what it is exactly we can do, what we can monetize, and give our customers something that they'll find valuable. Uh, great uh, presentation, uh, Brandon, real sharp. Um, speak a little bit about your background again. You said you have a marketing degree? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, where would you go to school? Alabama A&M University. Alabama A&M, okay, great. Um, you mentioned that you're going to go mobile with this. What is your timeline on, on the mobile site? Well, we're looking to move forward. Uh, it's going to take a tech team uh, to build a minimal feature set, as I described, uh, as soon as two weeks. Uh, the joint team is rolling out here within the next month or so, so we really want to be able to meet their need. Uh, we've been in discussion with a couple of their pilot customers who are very eager to get this product to market. Um, so, you know, for me, I think the next step past tonight is going to immediately be to connect with some tech individuals that can help me build out this minimal feature set. And from there, we're going to put it on the market and start collecting data. Okay, so you already have a product. You just need to build it out. Yeah, uh, I ran into a couple of roadblocks. I had a team that I was working with that ended up, you know, getting um, connected on a project that, you know, obviously had them more consumed than what they could help me with. Mm -hmm. uh, I most recently joined with the team out of Clemson University uh, who's committed to helping, and, you know, they've thrown me uh, quite a few opportunities, even partnering with the school, um, so I could help uh, raise capital. That would be a huge asset to me because putting that into the university gives me the ability to have students at the school build my technology, uh, which is really the route I want to take. Um, I think that would be a very val valuable asset to my business. Uh, it's just about being able to come up with the funds to be able to grant to the school. Okay, great. So if, if you uh, were to uh, move to the last module uh, from this evening, uh, what would you do with those resources for the next 60 days? Well, immediately I'm connecting with um, a tech individual, tech team, um, and we've got to hit the ground running uh, to build out this technology. Uh, the joint team has given me the ability to really focus on this pitch, uh, and now that that's behind us, you know, we're going to get back together and figure out what we could do to help service their customers. Um, so I've got, you know, a pretty busy schedule within the next 60 days at least, uh, and I'm definitely looking forward to it. Good luck. Thank you.